Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific... Uh, my bad, sorry. I'm just laughing at the, uh, the, um, little intro dialogue, like how racist it was. Or, I don't know if you can call it racist, but they're talking about the, um, aircraft carrier or whatever that's docked that you never actually see in the game. Um, because it's named after a whale or something. And so the dialogue is like, local authorities are concerned that Arasaka might try to harpoon it or something. So, hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. So you are embarrassed. So, everything in the game is on, uh, I think I probably already said this in the first video. It's on the highest it can be, uh, path tracing. Open up. And the only reason the game is even playable is because we know you're in there. DLSS is on. Uh, otherwise, if you turn DLSS off and try to run this at 4K Ultra with path tracing, it, it literally will drop to like five frames per second, which is fine because, you know, right now it's experimental, so. There's only like three games that have it. I keep trying to zoom out like it's uh, a Bethesda game and forgetting. I mean, it doesn't run that great even with the DLSS on, on path tracing, but... Wait, you mean 14 a day? That's different. Yes, I call you. A good day to you. Get off the phone. I want to test if. Nope. Nothing has changed. I won't apologize for getting rid of scum. You know what else? Did anyone complain? Who's. What are you, a veteran? These cars have nothing on them. They kind of look like the tarot cards, but two of them are blank. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Why this dude has no shirt on. So, oh, this dude actually looks much better than I remember. That tofu and some kind of something, some kebabs that or that one's very 2D. Okay. I mean that's an improvement from what it was like it last time I played. You got your awful French fries here, of course. Those burgers look kind of seaweedy. I'm not going to dwell on those things because I knew they wouldn't be fixed and I, I don't expect them to be fixed. Uh, and if Red Engine had like a decent modding system, then they already would have been modded, you know, but it doesn't. I don't know why, like, Witcher 3 had food replacement mods and stuff like that that I kind of remember. She hears all. Judgment is final. She hears your call. It's Julio's blood on your head. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. I'm pretty sure after this point in the game, you don't ever see this many dudes here again. So how about it? Nah, I'm not interested. Nah, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. Um. Maybe you can't do it yet, but this is like one of the only places you could sit down in the entire game. I 
How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on you. Does he have a health? Oh, okay. How dare you actually hit me? You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? Oh, now you can sit down. Okay. Uh. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the rain. These fights. Let's. Yeah, Luca. Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings. You know, as your agent, you get the rest. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. When you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in your boot. If this... I believe in you, dear. Time to show this city what you're made of. I assume that these fights existed before, but I never messed with them. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Stuff that I can't afford because I don't have money. You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. That's the second time he's mentioned Karenzakov. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a drug of some sort. From the very first stages of food production, we bring you bottom uh, layer quality that even Mother Nature can envy. Just Try a random mattress. And let your tongue be amazed. All food. It's just right. Mm. Yeah, me. That's a big ass burger. Look how big that is compared to her hands. Holy shit, that's a huge burger. That's ridiculous, dude. Oh my lord. The NPCs seem to have been improved. Maybe it's just this building. Let's have a look. Where is my gun? You said you have my gun. Where is it? Is that really it? Dying night? Thanks a lot. So gone. Okay. Has the the shooting contest isn't a thing yet? Oh whatever. Yeah, I'm curious to see how well this is actually gonna run. Uh I mean like so far it seemed to be decent.
Why can't I go down the You'll elevator? Be trouble. Be trouble. There's smoke this far. What's happening here? Take my fists. How do I put my fists away? That's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Provides 330%. Seven fucks. So that clearly doesn't work. Um, I have a controller turned on. I'm not sure if that's part of the issue or. I said hold B, not press B. It's, it's a slight difference, okay. I'm not I'm not imagining it either. Oh, well, no, I guess it didn't. Does that symbol no, because if it meant press, it would just it would look like this. It wouldn't have an arrow over it. So that's what whatever. Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exciting yeah, so multi-story. I see they floods. probably haven't changed it, but one of the many criticisms here is that you have these mega buildings, which are a staple of Cyberpunk, not just the Cyberpunk franchise, but the genre. And yet, you can only go to one, two floors, maybe three floors, including the maybe four floors, including the lobby, and like all the NPCs are useless. There's almost nothing you can do in this building. You can't buy anything from these vendors. You can't eat any food from these vendors. Actually, like after the prologue, I think you may be able to actually buy stuff from them. But that's about it. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Patch 2.0 or whatever was supposed to change some of this stuff. What do you want, friend? Oh, there's actually kids. Oh, well, there's there were all these kids. Sushi? Tacos? What is that? Cheese? Fish? Got pork buns. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. 
get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at mama well's signature sopa de fideos <laughs> man even even the 2077 economy is better than real life it's only one euro dollar for a, a uh, soda I mean 50 years in the future you would think because it. <laughs> it's about a dollar for a soda right now Okay, and a soda too. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. Important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh groom, and he found us. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but t bug she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm glad. No, really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. This game still looks really good, uh, for the most part. Gracias, Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides Let's see like if it looks. if it wrecks into the wall. We'll see about that. I mean, the first time I did this, it, it like drove through the uh, barrier. Let's feel this factory new ride. Oh, I guess not. I dreamed a dream of an endless sea. A Rosaka at the helm. Today, my first stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes, easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Ever gonna stop singing? Oh, that was the best. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. Hey, you don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Yeah, 
this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. What was that? <laughs> That's the guy I was looking for. Do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it's all. say you're right. So what? Did I just gouge out my optics? Thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation, but not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Crow. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed oh, masses oh by putting our laughter, our tears, oh on full oh, display! Get next to him. I'll snap his tool <laughs> to arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind before it is too late! <laughs> Take a selfie with the uh, conspiracy theorist homeless this. guy. Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. Uh, Taurus, okay. That explains it. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. He was reasonable until he, you know, said that we were being controlled by people from Their Alpha Centauri. Their conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Aliens, I guess, <laughs> is the term. Aliens from Alpha Centauri. Somewhere. Open your mind before it is too late. In that solar system. I thought there was more dialogue with this guy. If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and... My bad. So that the aircraft carrier is called the whale, but it's an Arasaka aircraft carrier. So they, they, they said it wasn't safe in Japanese waters because they were afraid that the Japanese even though Arasaka is Japanese, um, would try to, like, harpoon it. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Victor, Vector? <laughs> you look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Radio waves, they're fun. <laughs> um, where's the... Oh, here it is. Um, what a freak. Oh. Is there something you want, loser? Malone drops his guard. Oh, you can see the fatigue on him. It's it's, it's really starting to. Vicky, surprise him. Every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Man. Man. It's been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. I had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea. Hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. 
Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Gonna keep me waiting all day? Gonna keep me waiting all day? Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You're here. I wish I could buy things that way. Be like, ah, oh, quit crying. I'll give you the, the $25,000 oh, later. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Sounds like someone just got shot outside. In the game, I mean, not... This is another thing I'm gonna go ahead and criticize. Uh, you can go to a Ripper dock, basically at any point in the game Karoshi after this. Optics. Best but, I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now Jack in. Karoshi. This well, is the only time you'll ever have uh, unique animations, or even like, like actually sit down in the chair. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Which is sure, you know, it's Your it's not realistic to expect them Let's see what's going on inside. to uh, like have custom animations. I don't. And maybe it is for every single Ripper dock, but it's not like they couldn't have implemented this interface for every Ripper dock. Like, all you're doing is sitting down in a chair, and then they just have they would just have the NPC have to you know pull down the monitor, and then you could go straight into this. For one dollar, ten dollars. I don't have that much money. Nope. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember. Your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Gonna keep me waiting all day? So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. 
And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you made. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Okay, let's put a pin in that. Believe <clears throat> if you pay attention uh, throughout the story, you'll find out who like Blaze and other people are uh, quickly. I'm pretty sure, like in the very near future. Okay, so.
so I wonder if they fixed... This, this bug, I doubt it. Although it may not be until later in the game. This is a reference to a guy later in the game. There is a uh, a guy claiming to be like a Zen monk. Tending, baby. You got a brush. The whole quest chain with him. It's just no good if you don't. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. But what they don't know, the real name for what the are thing you they call cyberspace. Checking them out? That... Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city what is on the rise. Now, that's probably body. not news to what you, the but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Is Try to incapacitate the attacker, what and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Our plane of existence. I have heard their voices. Let they... You heard their voices? What did they say? They spoke not in the language of mortals, no. They howled, screaming in agony, forever removed from their earthly form. Among them was a woman, her voice of ice, Queen Lilith. She was calm, but at the cost of her humanity. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you, the Techno Necromancers of Alpha Centauri! The Techno Necromancers? Thanks, I deserve that. I recognize you. You come here. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may get to the truth? Oh, right. You get to have your first gunfight. Oh shit, I just shot a cop. I didn't mean it. Oh, so yeah, the cops look actually chase you now. Not that good of a thing for me at the moment.
Okay. Just gotta run away enough. <laughs> Apparently. Where was this gunfight at? I think I disassembled that gun and I, I meant to just loot it. Yeah. It was broken, so it forces you to, I guess. Gun's broken. What? <laughs> there we go. All right. I'll see what Dexter Deshawn's guy here. Get in the car. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab him. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second to rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. 
put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. We got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. It would be cool if, like, all the main quests that involved a... Uh... Some kind of a yeah, heist or job or something had an intro like that. I mean, most of them do, but they're most of them aren't that good. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess, before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Versus that sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junk, he's not junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put windows to the ground. Stick around. A 
Hasta luego. It's one of the many markets in the game that is like literally just here for decoration. I forget what the code is. Um, I think it's the looking glass code, but I honestly can't remember what the looking glass code is. You would think it would be easier, e easy since it's in like a million games. 70% real blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse, satisfy your instincts. Just random kids standing around by themselves. Oh, I forgot. The, uh, the soundtrack has some like, pretty decent guitar in it. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll get out of here. Oh, that was probably a car backfiring. I thought monks had to give up all them earthly pleasures, you know? I know. It's, uh... It's our friend. If I meet her, say, I guess I'll run. <laughs> the cops are like, that's fine. I've literally been ticketed for jaywalking before downtown, so. If you ever think that it's not a thing that happens, it is. And it's the stupidest thing imaginable. It was on a weekend, too. It was like a Sunday. We were at work trying to find a place downtown to eat, and everything downtown closes on the weekend. Um during certain hours, and that's doesn't make any sense to begin with, like in downtown Houston, depending on the place, like is only open during the, the weekdays what was that? or at certain hours send the word space to 729 Lizzie's no. Is he's born? Is he's? Looking a little put out oh, there. Oh, Moxie's input. Moxie's bar, I think. Interest you in a cream, BD? You'll be back. Okay. 
What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Reconsidered, huh? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> get out of my way. What a sweet Welcome little to face you have. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Is Lizzie the... gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? The one that's sort like... Of. The Moxes had an a android? Cube. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big Boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up. Out of respect. And biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. I mean, right, staring directly at her. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Maybe I'll ask. Dex had a load to say about you. 
called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet... It's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. 
Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling yeah, yeah. virtual yeah. tits. Jacking off two in those boxes. Like anything else? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. Hey, we weren't finished. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right-o. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Run yeah, I think it's Lizzy Wizzy is like the weird ass slighted. robot. Mm -hmm. She she resurrected okay, as an android set the or something. And other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. Can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. 
Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and I uh I should have skipped to the tutorial. I didn't realize that was an option until don't get creed after I clicked. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. It could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback, can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try Plan it. simple, do nothing odd, don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind, roll it back to the top. Yeah, I got it. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple, do nothing odd, don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho- Freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On your car! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restart. 
restock. I'll take the, the register. And a couple of How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpentine. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the camera. Oh, grab! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah, hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah. Impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. <laughs> All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. Oh, <laughs> 
Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Cameras packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. I honestly um, hate this part of the, the quest, so trying to get it on, get it over with I as fast as possible. No. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Thirst for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. To... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Sabro is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Got any candy left? Step was pretty You hit fun last time. Bedroom. Night step. I've got an idea. Automated turrets, latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. 
Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the Flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Ah, you'll like this. What love is Until you've learned the meaning of the world. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are Nobu's keeping the chip. Conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Oui. Just a fancy-ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need. I mean, once you've memorized it, <laughs> yep. it's not that bad. But that thing was so annoying. Thanks, Judy. First time. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. 
The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How are things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that shit without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the And she's right uh. about the bank stuff. Ten thousand euro dollars for an extremely advanced military drone. It's my friend. Sounds kind of like a, a huge deal. A discount, I mean. I know, I know, but she wants out. Because realistically, you know, it would be, it would be like one hundred and fifty billion dollars. So this whole prologue is going to be probably two more videos, at least. Um, because there's, like, quite a few sub-quests before the actual prologue quest. Uh, so that's going to be it for now, I think, unless I... I don't know, I'll take a look at this video after I save it. Um, and then I'll add to it if... if it's not long enough or something. I don't know. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good one.